What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. And did you guys notice that I have new lights? I look so like HD. Like this this is really weird. Anyway though guys, this video isn't about the lights or anything like that. I'm just asking you guys if you noticed if I look different or that. It's just I look a little bit crisper. Maybe in HD, maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, using new lights. But anyway though guys, I have a big haul to show you guys. A lot of stuff that I got from Savers. So, without further ado, let's get started. Surprisingly enough, I picked up like four Blu-rays there. And, well, you guys will see what they are. And I also picked up a few DVDs as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five. There's seven DVDs here. So without further ado, we'll get started with the four Blu-rays first. And maybe we'll do this one first. So the first one I picked up here is uh, one that's actually sealed and actually a couple of them are sealed and this is one that I've been looking for for a while I always see it in the cheap bins and that and I just never pick it up because it doesn't have the slip cover or anything like that but I finally decided to get it and that is Robocop this being the 2014 remake of Robocop I've seen this one a while ago I think probably when it first came out and it was it wasn't bad it probably could have been a lot better though I, I love the first Robocop movie, but this one, it wasn't bad. It was an entertaining action movie. That's pretty much all it was. And I'd recommend giving it a look if you guys have not already. And this one, it probably could have benefited a little bit more if it was maybe a little bit less violent than the original Robocop. Because I know, like, the original one goes a little bit over the top with the violence, but... You know, that's that's the whole reason that people enjoy it and because maybe sometimes it's a political satire and that. But Robocop, the, the 2014 remake, they really toned it down and made it, like, really PG-13. And it kind of sucked like that. Don't get me wrong, it's still a well-made movie, but it's just they could have done a little bit more to kind of make it a little bit better. But yeah, Robocop, for only about 6 bucks, I couldn't go wrong. It was brand new factory sealed, as you guys can see right there. And it doesn't still include the slipcover in that. So yeah, I, I guess I benefit from that. So, Robocop. And then, this next one here is the last one that I needed for my MCU collection. Because it's probably one of my favorite series of movies. And... I, I didn't understand why I didn't have all of them. It's probably because they're hard to find and just so uncommon. But I finally picked up the last one that I needed for my collection, and that is Thor. This being the original Thor, I do have Thor The Dark World and Ragnarok. This one, I don't know why I couldn't find this one anywhere. It was so impossible to find. I don't know why, but triumph in the end. I finally found it. And now I have all of the MCU movies. I wish I could have probably found the 3D version of this one. Even though I do know a lot of people say that it's not a very good 3D movie. But other than that, yeah, at least I have it. So, yeah, like I said, I wish I could have... I, I wish I preferred the 3D version a little bit more. But, you know, I have it now, like I said. But, yeah, Thor... It's a, it's pretty good. I like the original Thor. Not necessarily Thor The Dark World, but a little bit of a return to form for Ragnarok. The Dark World is probably the worst out of the MCU, but this one is pretty good on a second watch. And yeah, so I thought I'd pick that one up to complete my MCU collection. And now the last ones here that I'm going to show you guys are two 3D titles. The first one being this really super cool one. And I don't know why somebody would get rid of this, because this is such a beautiful set, and that is the Wolverine. I do have the Wolverine already on regular Blu-ray. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping that one or not, because this is literally the exact same artwork and everything. But this one includes four discs, as you guys can see right there. Disc 1 being the Blu-ray 3D feature film. Disc 2 is the Blu-ray feature film and bonus material. Disc 3 is the Wolverine Extended Cut and Bonus Material, and then Disc 4 is the DVD and the Digital. And I did not I did see this one in theaters when it first came out, and I think it was pretty good. I'm not too sure. I might have to do a rewatch when I have time. I might have to do a rewatch of all the X-Men movies. 
because I believe a lot of them are quite good. This one I think was pretty good too. I can't remember. But I'll show you guys what it is inside. So it says right there, loyalty, strength, honor, revenge. And then it folds out once again to reveal all the discs right here. So I believe that's the 3D regular. Underneath is the extended and then the DVD. So a very, very beautiful set. I don't know why anybody would get rid of this. But yeah, Wolverine. This really nice like digi pack almost. Probably an exclusive to somewhere, but yeah, thought I'd pick that one up, or I had to pick that one up. And the next one here, last one, uh, last blue right here is another 3D title, and that is The Martian. I've been trying to look for this one for a while, and once again, watched this one when it first came out, and I didn't really care for it. It, it was okay at best, but it wasn't very good at worst. I know a lot of people really love The Martian. I might have to rewatch it, but getting the 3D one, I was really happy getting it because it'd probably be a beautiful movie to look at on 3D. I still don't have that PlayStation VR thing, so I technically can't watch any 3D titles right now, but it'll probably be a very visually stunning movie to watch in 3D. So, yeah, definitely have to pick this one up, and it is also brand new factory sealed, so, yeah. Win-win for me, plus it also includes the slipcover as well. So anyway, though, that is it for the Blu-rays. So now we will get on to the DVDs. First one here, I have no idea what this movie is. So if you guys have seen it, clue me in in the comments below. And that is Aspen Extreme. Looks to be some sort of skiing movie, but that's about as far as I know. And it stars Paul Gross and Peter Berg. And this one is complete as well. So it's definitely very good. But yeah, Aspen Extreme, don't know anything about it, so leave a comment down below if you guys have seen it. Next one here, once again, did not see it, so I don't know what to make of it, and that is Eight Heads in the Duffel Bag, starring Joe Pesci. It's an MGM title, so it might be out of print, might have to check it when the video is done, but no idea. It's, it's not complete, I don't know if it ever came with a chapter guide, but there it is. So Eight Heads in the Duffel Bag. If you've seen it, leave a comment down below. And then these next two ones are classic horror. I don't know why I didn't have these before, but now I picked them up. First one being the Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Maybe I should do it like this because it flips them around. But yeah, Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Probably talk about Evil Dead first. Evil Dead, it's a good movie. I'm a lot. I know a lot of people love the the first Evil Dead movie. I don't love it as much as other people do. I don't know why people think it's so, it's so special, but yeah, the Evil Dead. It's the it's the Anchor Bay release, so of course you're gonna get quality. I believe Anchor Bay is the only the only studio that released this movie, but it did come complete and everything on the inside, and it comes with the middle of the book comes with the original poster artwork right there, and it's uh, it's a really thick book as well. Turn that back on. It's a really thick book as well. So I definitely had to pick up the Evil Dead. So now I have all the Evil Dead movies plus all the seasons of Ash vs. Evil Dead. So I have the complete Evil Dead series, I guess. I had, Like I said, the first three movies from Evil Dead and then Army of Darkness. Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, the remake, and then Ash vs. Evil Dead. So yeah, the Evil Dead. And then... Of course, Evil Dead 2, which is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. You gotta love Evil Dead 2. It's hilarious. It's just just such a great movie, and this is also another Anchor Bay release as well. So I definitely had to pick it up, and that's what the artwork looks like inside with the original poster art in that. It's not technically the original poster art because it'd probably be the one with the skull with Ash's eyes in it. But yeah, Evil Dead 2... Definitely had to pick it up because I picked up the first one. And then this next one here is a big jump from genres here. We're going from horror to romantic comedy. And I picked up Love Actually. It's pretty common, but I like this movie. It was pretty good. I liked it. So yeah, pretty heartwarming movie. And then the next one here is another one to complete a series. And that was Vegas Vacation. This being the original Snapper Case release. 
I've been wanting this one for a little while now, and now I finally have it. Unfortunately, it is the standard DVD release, so, uh, yeah, but yeah, Vegas Vacation. And then the last one here is just a pretty random pickup here. I don't know why I got this one, but I never see these anywhere. It's a Shell Factory release of a TV show, and that is America's Funniest Home Videos. This being the AFE Looks at Kids and Animals. I liked AFE as a kid, not so much now because it's getting kind of corny and it's kind of overstated its run and everything. I did like watching the old Bob Saget episodes over the Tom Bergeron episodes. I don't know why, maybe because of the silly voices that Bob Saget does. I just never liked Tom Bergeron as a host and I don't remember like the guy and the girl hosting it and I never remember that. I just remember getting these compilation DVDs and all that was on there was basically the Bob Saget or the Tom Bergeron ones. I believe Alfonso Ribeiro was hosting it now and Tom Bergeron like called it quits a long time ago. But yeah, AFE looks at kids and animals. I just had to pick it up because it's, oh, actually this is, these both are Bob Saget episodes, which is weird. It says in here, add a generous amount of Bob Saget, and then bonus episode, Bob Saget hosts the $100,000 1996 series finale. So yeah, kind of when he was getting tired of doing it in that, and yeah, the rest is history when Tom Bergeron decided to do it in that. But anyway though guys, that is about it for this big, huge, massive Sabres haul. So thanks for watching, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also, be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. The link for that will be down below in the description of this video as well. Anyway, though, guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.